Mr. Clerk, read House Bill 1916. House Bill 1916 by Representative McCollum to create Arkansas Day. Representative McCollum, you're recognized to explain the bill. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, colleagues. Uh, this bill is an exciting opportunity to promote our state and what we value. It's, this bill is about not being reactionary. I want to go ahead and get in front of a few things. I know a lot of people view that, um, well, a lot of folks have shared with me their views on the flag. I'll say this bill is not about a flag. For me, it's about an opportunity to say who we are as a state. I don't want to suggest it's cleanup language, but I'll get to that in a minute. And I understand there's a lot of different views here uh, on the flag, which anytime you talk about this particular flag, there is a tension point. I would never touch any individual, individual rights to keep, display, celebrate the flag. Another concern that's been brought to me is that this somehow gets in the way of individuals' ability to honor soldiers from the Civil War. Robert E. Lee Day still exists in October to memorialize those who died on either side of the Civil War. So the history of this bill and what I learned when sponsors of another similar bill brought this bill to me, I did a little studying. I did a little look into our past in this very chamber. And in 1957, in response to Little Rock Nine and to the integration, Democrat Governor Oral Faubus and the Democrat-led legislature created Confederate Flag Holiday, excuse me, Confederate Flag Day. Many of you have corrected me on that point. Now, I understand parties change over time, and uh, I just want to make an appeal to those of my Republican colleagues that it's a good idea to correct the record. It's a good idea to define who we want to be as a party moving forward. Now, it's also important for me to point out to all of you that the reason we're saying this is Arkansas Day, because I've chatted with a number of you about different dates. Should we make Arkansas Day um, the day that Arkansas was founded? And we landed on keeping it on the same day because I understand it's important to many constituents that you have that like to, on this very day, do reenactments of the Civil War. And in fact, we gave a nod towards that in the description of this bill. This Arkansas Day shall be a day to reflect on the rich history. So. By definition, we are not erasing history. National treasures, diverse cultures, unmatched hospitality, and shared spirit and human resilience that makes the people of this state. I think a number of you have shared with me you might have something to say about this bill, so I guess at this moment I'll just step back and see if there's any questions. I'd appreciate a good vote. Representative McCollum has spoke, uh, has explained the bill. Would anyone like to speak against the bill? For the bill? Representative Richmond, you recognize to speak for the bill? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, colleagues. I would say that uh, I had no intention of coming down here, but that's been used so many times that nobody believes it anymore. So there's no reason to even say that. So I'll talk directly about this bill. Now, what I will tell you is if I thought we were erasing history, if I thought we were erasing some type of dedication to those men that fell during the Civil War on both sides, especially on the Confederate side, considering what we're talking about. There's no way that I would support this bill because I truly believe that when you erase history, you're bound to start repeating that history at some point. Some generation will make that mistake again. So we should never erase history, no matter how difficult it is to step up and realize that happened in our past. So this particular bill does not erase history. It is not about history. 
This particular bill is about changing something that happened for the wrong reason. Representative McCollum talked about that. The people that were in political power there when desegregation was occurring in our schools reached out and poked that population in the eye in a way that they thought they could do. It's taken this, this long to come to here and start addressing what I think was deliberate attempts to do something that was incredibly wrong, something that has divided us for a long time and is still a point that is hard for everyone to get past and move on. So I'm not going to vote for this because maybe we're correcting that at this time. Because I truly believe that nothing we do is going to fix our problems. Government hardly ever fixes these kind of problems. The best thing we could do as government is get out of the way and let the people come together and fix most of these problems and save the extreme cases for ourselves. But what this will do, passing this particular bill, will correct an error that was made by our predecessors, an error that continues to cause difficulty. That's still not the real reason why I'm going to vote for it. I'll tell you now the real reason why I'm voting for this and why I support it. I do it because of the men and women that I served with from this state and from other states of all colors and all backgrounds. You know, I ran into our Kansans. I remember one time in, in Pakistan, in a place in Pakistan, we won't talk about specifics, but there was a place there and I happened to run into a guy and we got to talking. He was from some little rinky-dink town somewhere in southeast Arkansas and I was from western Arkansas, but we were truly brothers. You know, I was an officer and he was enlisted, so you know, there is a separation because of that, but we looked at each other and we were Marines. We shared a common experience. We shared a common love and we were brothers. The reason why I'm voting for this is out of respect for that man. He didn't get to come home. I'm voting for this because they deserve it. Those men and women who stepped up despite what kind of reception they may have received when they come back home. Whether it was World War II or any other conflict, they served their country. A lot has changed. And there still needs to be some change and this is just a step in the right direction to show the respect for those men and what they gave up and what they did for us. So I'm a yes and I'd appreciate a good vote. Thank you. Representative Richmond has explained the bill, I mean, or spoke for the bill. Would anybody like to speak against the bill? For the bill? Representative Whitaker, you're recognized to speak for the bill. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Good afternoon, colleagues. As a Democrat, it's important for me at least, and I know some of my other colleagues have spoken to me since my comments in committee yesterday, it's important that we own our mistakes of the past. To admit that in 1957, yes, it was a Democratic governor and a Democratic legislature that passed this law. It was part of a failed and ill-conceived effort known as massive resistance. It took different forms across different states throughout the South. You may have seen emails from folks who say that this bill is some attempt to erase history or to cancel someone's culture. But the truth of the matter is the establishing of Arkansas Day, and if you read the text, you'll see, will enable us to place the, these historical events in their context of the broader history of Arkansas. 
No one will be told that they cannot take the day to memorialize lost ancestors, to even glorify the Confederate flag, because this doesn't tell people that they can't celebrate Arkansas in their own way. I can say these things from a humble heart. I am a son of the South. I, I was born so far south in Georgia, if you went any further, you'd be in Florida. And I got my high school and college education in Virginia, and I was blessed to come here to study law and was doubly blessed to be able to stay and be accepted among you. In District 85 on the slopes of Mount Sequoia sits the Fayetteville Confederate Cemetery, a privately owned, wonderful little nook in the woods where we honored those who fell. These were not the politicians who started that war. These were the men and women who were the vict as much victims of it as anybody on the North. And it is absolutely appropriate to use Arkansas Day to clean those graves and to bring flowers and honor these ancestors, just as it would be to honor our ancestors and those, and those events of our territorial period, which is, if you ever get the time to read the history and you haven't, an incredibly colorful part of American history. So, we cannot undo all of the darkness of our past, but we can make a beginning. We can say we have no problem with our friends who wish to commemorate their Confederate heritage, but we would also like to have a day that allowed all our Kansans, no matter their color, national origin, ethnicity, or religious beliefs, to celebrate Arkansas, and that's what this bill does, and that's why I'm a yes vote, and I would hope you could join us. Thank you. Representative Whitaker spoke for the bill. Would anyone like to speak against the bill? For the bill? Representative Gonzalez, you're recognized to speak for the bill. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Colleagues, I've, I've been involved in fighting against bills that, that I saw as you know, changing a part of, part of our history, changing the meaning of the stars on the flags. I, I fought against those in committee. I've been on state agencies for a while. Representative Collins came to me early this session with this similar idea. I don't know if it was this exact same bill or not. And the question I asked him is why? Why are we doing this? Most people don't even know that this is a day that, that's set aside to, to celebrate. Uh, it, to me, it was just bringing something up to, to people's attention to, to call you know, racism out. So when I found out that Representative McCollum was running this, he, he approached me to ask if, if I could support it. And initially I was, no, I'm, I'm not, you know, we're, it's not something that I want to get involved in at all. Until I found out how the day came about, when it came about, that it was a, a direct response to integration in the state. Um, so it was, it was a blatant form of, of racism at the time. Um, so seeing that and, and how it came about, I had no choice but to support changing the name of this day, and I would ask that, that you would join me in, in doing that, because we, we don't need that black eye of, of racism in the state anymore. So we, I'd appreciate a, a positive vote on this. Thank you. Representative Gonzalez has spoke for the bill. Would anyone like to speak against the bill? For the bill? Representative Scott, you're recognized to speak for the bill. Colleagues, let there be no doubt that this bill still does not erase history. Erasing history is impossible. It simply is. But even if we could, I wouldn't want to. I'm a student of history. I want to hold everything to the light, the good, the bad, the ugly, especially our difficult moments, which we should never forget as a country. Repealing Confederate Flag Day, a day most of us probably didn't even know existed until recently, 
or this session when the bill was filed. It won't stop us from remembering or appreciating the Civil War or, the Southern, or our Southern history. It won't stop us, and let's just be honest, it won't stop us from officially memorializing the Confederate soldiers and their families. It won't stop people from hanging their Confederate flags as well. Let's be very honest about that. It will only stop what it stops, the celebration and glorification of a symbol that stood against the United States and now stands to hurt so many. I'm asking for a good vote on House Bill 1916. Representative Scott has spoke for the bill. Would anyone like to speak against the bill? For the bill? Representative McCollum is closed for the bill. The question before the House is the passage of House Bill 1916. Prepare the machine, Mr. Clerk. Has everyone voted? Cast up the ballot, Mr. Clerk. With 80 yeas, 7 nays, and 1 present, the bill is passed.